as uh, promised, uh, you get one of a couple of videos about the ARC Zoom ARC AR96. Um, I use mine for a couple of days, maybe seven, eight days a week, or maybe one and a half. And uh, yeah, I'm still um, kind of flashed about this thing and I still do not understand why uh, people didn't get the arc and didn't like the arc because this thing is um, dynamite in my opinion. Um, just let me uh, tell you two things first before we start with the video. Uh, and we do not uh, do an overview today. There are a lot of videos with, with an overview about the ARC. I'm showing you things about the ARC you didn't know or maybe didn't expect or maybe did not find or you will not find them in the description. So um, two things first. First thing is I'm a guy, um, I like hardware, um, I can I can find out things um, I didn't know about. So innovation uh, circuit is one of these things or um, the, the Volkers are great um, hardware uh, to do music with uh, if you are open-minded, I, uh, I say it that way. And the second thing is, um, yeah, be open-minded for for the arc if you're not open-minded if you're not um, able to uh, find things out you will do not have fun with this uh, machine and you do not love it that's the point for me it is uh, really easy i'm in love with uh, the arc till i get it out of the box uh, as i saw it the first time it was love definitely and it is still love to uh, today and every day I find new things in this uh, machine I can't believe. So we are um, doing one thing today, we're going to capture um, some music and then I show you uh, some things you might not expect. We capture the captured and then we can recapture the captured we captured before. This is possible with um, the art and I show you how this works. Uh, we have uh, pretty easy, the, the normal um, setup here. It's it's an empty rack. The empty rack isn't empty. So you see there uh, are um, these um, samples built in here. Um, blue is kind of uh, melody things. Um, these are percussions. These are bass drums, the red. These are bass drums too, but they have another color. Um, yeah. And there are uh, some funny yeah. sound effects. Okay, this is an empty rack for Zoom. And we start um, here with a real empty rack. You can empty your rack uh, just with one click. You go on uh, kit here, and then you have here erase. And you can uh, just... Uh, empty it out and you have nothing. So the first thing I have to show you here is how you build an instrument. Um, there are a couple of ways to build an instrument. The easy, easiest way is you go on edit, you uh, are in this window here and uh, there is your bass instrument. This is the oscillator. We, we uh, see this in this video very often, so I tell you. Uh, how this works this is the oscillator you can uh, do on every um, window on every big window above on the oscillator on the noise on the insert effect on the filter um, amp envelope output and uh, yeah in, in on every main uh, thing in this window we can do uh, these effects down you see it here a pitch mod for the oscillator, uh, level one, two, envelope, and uh, aftertouch. And this is possible for every uh, kind of part in, in your instrument. 
the bass is the oscillator and uh, here you see uh, drum, percussion, voice, synth, instrument and instrument are the basic instruments. You see it here, basic. Um, I can show you acoustic guitar. Uh, the instruments are not very nice, I, I say, For, for uh, to be honest. They are not uh, that boom uh, instruments, but you can build your own and this is really nice. There are my audio files I always uh, I also uh, captured or already captured in uh, on my SD card, and you you can see I can uh, just choose one of these um, audio files here. I can't play them, but I, I can uh, choose them. Here's my hang drum, and with my hang drum I can play them here, and I can. Uh, Without doing anything, I can uh, go in this mode, and in this mode you have your piano thing, and when you have your, your notes, you can play. You can uh, uh, do it mono or polyphonic, and you can uh, choose the octaves. Um, you can choose the scale, or Durian, and so on, so on, and the start note and you can choose the pitch so I can start with this or I can pitch it up or down if I want and I can pitch the mod 2 and I can choose the level the out, uh, outgoing level on uh, on the instrument loud or, or not so loud so this is just an overview how an instrument is working here I show you another uh, possibility to uh, get an instrument. You go on synth, and now maybe that flashes you away like me. You go on basic and you have here uh, the, the normal things, single double harmony. Uh, single means you have a saw, a square, a pulse, a, sin, uh, a sign and a triangle. And you have this in uh, double way. Whoa. Just a moment. In double way, you have this in harmony way, you have this in dual, in triple, and in octave. And believe me, that is really, really nice to have. You, your possibilities are endless. It's really, really cool. Uh, you have a ring modulator on these... Um, things ring a dual ring octave fm fm dual sync uh, fm octave sync sync dual and that's it and that's so great you will see that um, without sampling anything or capturing any audio you can do such a lot of things with uh, with this machine it's great so um, just to show you how um, how it sounds i choose a synth and uh, we take, um, for example, a triple saw here. It's one of my favorites. And we can uh, just uh, go on another note here. Sound level you can choose here, and we go on the 12. Just a moment. And now think about you can all these things. You can put on an LFO or two LFOs. to show you how, how it works. Um, you can uh, do some noise on it, pink or white noise, um, with, an, with a level mod then. Um, you have an insert effect, compressor, bit crush, distortion, chorus.
you know what I mean that, that is so great so many possibilities uh, your filter you know zoom and zoom is really great with filters and, and effects and so on and all of these is uh, in this machine you see it everywhere uh, what what zoom is doing great you know so uh, you can uh, do an animation on on this so we go, uh, just a moment, I go out here and uh, put this off and then we put this on and then you see it's kind of uh, um, a toy thing or so. You, you can do an animation on, on the color uh, of the buttons. Come on. Hey. I already showed this a uh, couple of days ago, but that's not part of this video. Um, it's here and it's nice to have, but that's not the main thing of this video. So what we are doing now is, uh, you saw how it works to build an instrument on. We are at, at the end here, here's a setting, here you can uh, regulate your uh, knobs here if you uh, are interested in uh, changing the amp envelope you can do this uh, here if you um, configure the amp just a second amp attack and the amp um, substain oh, decay and release and substain you can play this instrument and change this on your play and this is uh, really great so now we start uh, with a new instrument and now I, I sh show you what's so dynamite on this uh, thing. Uh, sorry, by the way, for my bad English, but I'm uh, German and I have an accent. Sorry for this. Uh, we sampling something. Um, the point is everything you um, bring into the arc with this uh, cable here on the side, um, you can hear. I just put it off and uh, then we can play our sample we want to capture one time here this is an other song i love other and so uh, we are going to sample this today you hear it and the capture um thing blinks if there is uh, too many audio input So these first seconds I, I want to uh, capture and um, I think it's a uh, 135 uh, BPM and then I uh, have a mod metronome before with four, um, four kicks and then uh, we start to sample. Uh, that's it. And now you you see I stop this here. You see uh, the the window changed and uh, the the arc changed complete. Uh, we have here the beginning of our capture and here the end of our capture. And here we have the slices. You see where the sample starts. And you can just choose yourself where you want to start with your instrument you're going to build. Oh, this is a nice thing here. So now you see if I change the start point, there's a uh, little window above who zooms into my uh, sound file and so give me uh, the possibility to find the point where I want to start. And if you change this button, here, the start button. This is always the start button where your sample starts. Okay?
So I have to just search for the point where my... Okay, we cut this out here. Okay. Okay, I think this is it. And now we have the possibility to uh, save that on an Insta pad, an instrument pad here, or um, assign a looper. Looper is not a part of this video, so we save it on an Insta pad. And he will ask me where, and I tell him I just want to save it here. So I assign it on this pad. Now we have a bass instrument. Now we go to edit this. Yeah, we edit this with just going to do it a bit longer. If you have uh, a feeling that doesn't fit, you can uh, always go to the original file here. I hope that works. You go to the original file here, your audio files, and here are your, um, your captures. And I'm not sure, but I think it has to be this. Maybe it isn't. No, it isn't. So I take the other. This. And maybe he cut this out already. Yes, he do. Okay, we we working with this. Some kind of effect here. Ah, maybe thinking uh, this is a bit too short to work with so we're going to sample this again just a moment so And again, you see it's sliced already. Okay, that's nice. Now we take this sample and uh, work with it here. So 
So we have our, our piano roll if we want. And I can uh, reverse this if I want. And we can uh, record this as well if we want. Now we get uh, some kind of bass drum. <laughs> <laughs> 